Hey dudes, Officer Dan and the boys from Down Under back with another Handy S Chassis part for ya. This time the GK Tech Power Steering Hardline Replacements. Now Mr. Caps has little to no experience wiggling boxes at the level that Zack does and is not going to even attempt such a feat. He does however enjoy a spot of magic now and then so poof! This is what you get in the bag. Two stainless steel power steering lines that are internally lined with Teflon and a PVC outer for protection against the elements. As for the fittings connected to the lines, these are stainless steel. These fittings can't be found off the shelf, so we had these grade 316 stainless fittings whipped up to mate the Nissan rack to our dank as dash four lines. Now the kit itself isn't just made from some off the shelf or pre-cut lines. Way down under in the Aussie warehouse, we had measure, cut to length, and add fittings, then test each kit before they leave so you know damn well sure it's going to fit right and proper like. Crikey. Enough bragging about the line making capabilities of the Aussies. Let's install these, shall we? Since COVID has probably crushed your soul by now, that still probably isn't as crushed as your old hard lines are. Start by removing both the top and bottom threaded fittings that attach to the hard lines. Get a bucket handy for any tears and or power steering fluid you may express. Now head to the other side, then loosen and remove the outermost hard line nut, then move on to the middle hard line nut, then loosen and remove that one as well. Now you can either put those on eBay and charge way too much money for them, or do what we did and javelin them into the heat bin. Now give the rack a nice cleaning using only the finest of blue rags and install the first fitting to the middle bung. Repeat for the outer bung, then finally move on to the top side and thread in both the top and bottom fittings, then get them nice and snug. Now since these lines fit to the millimeter, they will be a snug fit, especially if you're doing the job on the car. Starting with the bottom line on the inner fitting, then at the same time heading to the middle fitting, start threading them on at the same time, winding both in until they are both tight by hand. Now head to the upper fitting and do the same, arranging the lines as shown on the screen, then head to the outer fitting and repeat the process of tightening them down by hand at the exact same time until snug. Grab a wrench to support the fitting and angle the line a degree or two away from the direction that you're tightening as it will catch and rotate a bit. If it takes you a few tries, so be it. Just make sure not to cram the lines into each other. You want to tighten the top one first, then the bottom, holding the line in the fitting to make sure it stays where you want. Head to the mid fitting and repeat the process. If there's any droop or slack, this is where you can adjust it a bit. Now head over to the outer fitting and adjust how you want. In this case, we're running it tucked up and out of the way in line with the other line. Hold and tighten, again torquing to the spec shown on the screen. This is of course for right hand drive, otherwise known as right hand drive. So if your car is on the correct side of the road, aka the left, flip what we did and repeat. And that's it. Now you just need to fill and bleed the power steering system with your favorite fluid. In my case, that's purely stop leak, since all of my 240 racks leak like a sieve. Congrats and go have a beer, then brag about your mechanical knowledge to your buds. Speaking of beer, these dudes enjoy them just as much as they love drifting and apparently making how-to videos for you, the people. If you can't install these, please have a pro do it or reach out to us with any questions you may have. This has been Officer Dan, Johnny Caps, and I sure do love edible Zach with another GK Tech how-to. Peace.